Hey, what's up guys? Austin here. So I've had a lot of requests to do some tutorials on mixing, so that's what we're going to do today. And this is going to be a three-part series, and the goal for this is to show you guys how I go from this to this. So before we get started, just a short disclaimer, I'm not a professional mix engineer, I'm just a drummer making YouTube videos. So for all you guys out there looking for the super advanced technical stuff, I'd probably point you towards something like uh, Pensado's Place or Recording Revolution or something like that. But for all you guys out there that are mixing your own drums at home and you're just trying to get them to sound good and you want to see what I do in my mix, then let's get started. All right, guys, so we'll just start from scratch. This is a completely raw recording. Uh, nothing's been panned yet, and all the faders are set to zero. So when I play this back, it's going to sound pretty terrible, but this is what we're starting with. All right, cool. You guys get the idea? That sounds pretty bad. So our first goal is to just get some basic levels and some panning going on so we can start to build a mix from that. So the first thing I like to do is just grab all the tracks and pull everything down and start with just the overheads. So I use a space pair, so I know that these are going to be pan left and right. So I usually do minus 45 and plus 45. I never really go like fully panned left and right, so... Uh, around minus 45 works for me, okay? So what I'm going to do now is start to pull up the levels of the overheads, and I'm just going to be listening to make sure that they're balanced and one side isn't overpowering the other, okay? Okay, that's a good place to start. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the overheads again, and I'm going to be paying attention to where the other drums are in the stereo image, because that's going to dictate where I'm going to pan them, okay? So we'll go ahead and start uh, from the beginning, and I'll tell you what I'm listening for. Okay, so you can hear the kicks a little bit off to the right. So I'm going to put that at plus five for the kicks. The snare's a little bit off to the left. I'll put that at minus five. We'll isolate the toms here. Okay, so you can hear that the rack tom is a little bit off to the left. So I'll put that at about minus ten. And the floor tom's pretty far to the right, so I'll put that at about plus 30. Okay. So now that we got the panning, I'm just going to start bringing up the levels until they're all blended together, and it starts to sound like a drum set. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good place to start. Just doing these basic things makes a pretty big difference from where we started. So that's going to do it for part one. In part two, we're going to go into EQ and compression and all that kind of stuff. 